Hey animal enthusiasts and pet hobbyists, it's Joelle here again, and this is the Pincushion Urchin. I first introduced the urchin through drip acclimation because inverts tend to be a lot more sensitive to water parameter changes. The reason I decided to get an urchin was because I was having a horrible algae outbreak. As you can see I have all this hair algae and a bit of macroalgae growth and I thought that an urchin would help out. Urchins eat pretty much all types of algae including macroalgae, microalgae, and coralline algae. On the underside of the urchin is a mouth which to me personally looks like a beak that they use to consume algae. Above the urchin is an exit known as the anus, which unsurprisingly is used to expel poop. The pincushion urchin is able to move by using these long tentacle-like structures called tube feet. These are used not only for movement, but also for grasping onto food. One thing that's not too unusual is seeing the urchin hold items such as seashells over their spines. The exact reason for this is unknown, however some say that it's because they want to provide shade from the light, or to protect themselves from predators. As time progressed, the urchin did a great job of consuming my hair algae. Thankfully, I was able to get my urchin at about 1 inch in diameter. However, they do have the potential to reach up to 8 inches. At that size, it is advised to have caution when keeping them in a reef tank because they do have the potential to knock over frags and poke nearby coral. This urchin is found in tropical marine environments and does well in temperatures of around 74 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Salinity should be around 1.023 to 1.025 and the pH should be around 8.1 to 8.4. If you're planning on getting a pincushion urchin, I would recommend only adding it to an established tank that has plenty of algae buildup. This is because a lack of algae can cause the urchin to starve. Overall, this is an excellent cleanup crew member and it looks very cool while adding biodiversity to the tank. If you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.